Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Notion Hub and in this video, I'm going to show you the most important tips and tricks for your Infinix Smart 6. By the way, I've also uploaded a dedicated video for the best features of the phone where I've talked about some of the unique features offered by this phone. So do check out that video as well. Link will be in the description. By the way guys, if you like these kind of videos, hit the like button and if you don't, make sure to hit the dislike button. It helps us a lot. Now with that said, first I'll start off with the navigation gestures. You can enable the navigation gestures from the settings and once you enable them, you can swipe from the bottom of the screen to go home, swipe and hold for the recent apps and you can swipe from the left side or right side to go back a step. You can swipe from the bottom left corner or the bottom right corner diagonally to trigger the Google Assistant. Finally, we can also swipe left or right on the bottom part of the screen to quickly switch between the applications. By the way, on this phone, we have additional settings to change the back sensitivity from low to high. You can select the option based on your preference. Next, we have dark mode. You can enable it from the display settings or the toggles. And once you enable them, all the system elements, including some system applications, will change from the default light theme to the dark mode or the dark theme. This mode helps you save some battery. It looks much more cooler and also strains your eyes less at night. Next, I'm going to show you how to use split screen mode. For that, first go to the recent apps page. Now tap on the split screen option above the app window. Then your phone will open that application in the top window and you can select the secondary application from the recent apps or else you can go to the home screen and then select the secondary application from there. Next, I'm going to show you how to take screenshots on this phone using the buttons. So to take screenshots, just press the volume down and power button both at the same time to take a screenshot. This is a pretty quick shortcut that works on all the Android phones. Next, I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot with the three finger screenshot gesture. This feature is enabled by default but for some reason, if it doesn't work, you can always enable it from the settings. Once you enable this feature, you can just swipe down using three fingers to take a screenshot. Here's a quick preview. Next, I'm going to show you how to take a long screenshot or in this case, scroll shot. First, you need to take a regular screenshot. For that, you can either use the buttons or the gesture. So once you take a screenshot, you get a preview. And beside that, we have a dedicated button for the scroll shot. Just tap on it to get a scroll shot or a longer screenshot. Next, I'm going to show you how to record the screen on your phone. For that, go to the notification toggles and then select silent screen recording. Even though it says silent screen recording, we can also record with voice and you can select it directly from the options. From settings, you can change the voice preference. You can also change the picture quality and some other preferences. Next, I'm going to show you some important gestures. First, we have the double tap to wake feature. You can enable it directly from the toggle. Now, once you're done, when your phone is sleeping, you can just double tap the screen to wake it up. If you use this feature along with the face unlock feature, unlocking your phone will seem a much more seamless process. Next, we have flip to mute calls. Now, once you enable this feature, whenever you get a call, you can just flip your phone to silent it. It's not a big feature, but a pretty handy one. Next, we also have the smart screen on feature on this phone. You just need to enable it. And whenever you pick up your phone, your display lights up. Once again, if you use face unlock feature on this phone, it will make the unlocking process seem much more seamless. Next, I'm going to show you how to change the default applications on this phone. By default, we have some default applications like default browser, home app, that's the home launcher, phone app or SMS app. You can change all those defaults from this place. Next, I'm going to show you how to display the network speed on the status bar. So to display the network speed, you just need to enable this toggle and you'll get the network speed usage on the status bar. In the same way, if you want to display the battery percentage, once again, enable this particular toggle to display the battery percentage on the status bar. Going on next, we have a dedicated WhatsApp mode on this phone, which is pretty unique for the Infinix phones. Once you enable this mode, all the applications on your phone, except for WhatsApp, will not have access for your mobile data. So once you enable this mode, you'll just get notifications whenever you get a message on WhatsApp. You won't get any annoying notifications or pop-ups from apps like say Facebook or Instagram. Those applications won't have any access to mobile data. Next, we have a pretty unique feature on this phone called Freeze. Now this feature allows you to freeze applications. Most of us install a lot of applications but barely use them. Maybe once in a week or twice in a week. So in that case, you can freeze all those applications. Once you freeze an application, that application will not run in the background unless you manually open it. So it'll save you some battery, save you some data as well. So guys, those were the most important tips and tricks that I know about this phone. If I missed out on anything important, do let me know by commenting below this video. 
With that said, this is Nikhil signing off. See you in my next video.